Hi guys, Dan here from Kilowatt Auto, back again with yet another autopilot video today for you. So in Tesla's latest software update, they added the ability for the car to now respond to traffic lights. So as long as the traffic light is green and there's a leading car in front, the Tesla will now drive through the intersection. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this feature today, test it out and see how effective it is. If you're new here to the channel, my main purpose here is to share the ownership experience of the Tesla Model 3, while also documenting the car's progression to full self-driving. So if that's something you'd be interested in seeing, definitely consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. So most of today's testing is gonna be on the highway. I do have a couple of back roads thrown in the mix, so I'll be sure to include the footage from there. And the car started out doing really well. It was able to respond to all the traffic lights that we encountered. And then towards the back half of the drive, we once again had sort of another bizarre interaction with this time a construction worker on the side of the road and then a bicyclist. And after that, it's almost like the car lost its confidence and just started making some more bizarre errors. So towards the end of the video, um, you'll get to see that and sort of see how the car responded in those different situations. Um, it definitely reduced my confidence a little bit in terms of how autopilot was handling some of the situations. It slammed on the brakes a couple of times. Luckily, there was no one close behind me, but again, just sort of uh, almost a step back in terms of some of the other situations that it was handling while taking that step forward of being able to now respond to traffic lights, which it did for the most part without any issues. So with all that said, we're gonna jump right into the footage and take a look and see how the car did. So this is gonna be the first intersection that I actually tested. So about 600 feet away, you'll see the little notification pop up on the left side of the screen that there's an intersection up ahead. And as it approaches the intersection, the car will see that the light is green and then also that the other cars are passing through. So the typical red stop line that appears on the left side of the display will turn green, letting me know that I don't have to interact with the car whatsoever. It's gonna automatically go through the intersection. So this is again another example of a leading intersection. So the car notifies me initially that it is gonna stop ahead as it starts to see the other cars proceed through the intersection and also note that the light is green. The typical red stop line will change to green meaning the car is gonna automatically go through the intersection. So this final example is another good intersection interaction. So we're starting from a complete stop. The car is gonna note the other cars moving forward and also the change of the light to green. So that typical red stop line is gonna to turn to green, meaning we're proceeding through the intersection without any driver intervention. So this is where things start to get a little bit sketchy. So we're approaching a construction zone and it's narrowing down to one lane and the lanes actually shift a little bit up ahead and the car handles that really well. You'll see it shift over a little bit. It's mapping all the cones and it's seeing everything that's going on. But as soon as we pass through the tunnel up ahead, there's gonna be a backhoe on the side of the road on the left side and there's gonna be a construction worker right beyond that backhoe close to the lane that we're in. So as soon as the car sees that person there, it sort of panics, slams on the brakes and we drop about 10 miles an hour. In most cases, this is generally an appropriate response. The and Teslas in general are very skittish if they see a person in the lane, which is how we want them to be. But if you're being followed close or someone's tailgating you, the odds of having a crash just increase exponentially. So it's just something to be aware of. The, the car, again, anytime that a person is noted on the side of the road, it is very conservative with how it drives. So just something to be aware of whenever you're using autopilot. So you can see the car up ahead slowing down and then moving to the left a little bit to pass the biker who's on the right side of the road. My car recognizes pretty early on that there's someone in the road and you can see the bicycle show up on the left side of the display screen. As he's sort of bobbing from left to right here, as soon as he moves out of the lane, the car recognizes that the path is clear and immediately starts to accelerate. And then of course, perfect timing, he starts to move a little bit to the left, crosses into the lane and the car panics. So once again, the car brakes pretty hard. Luckily, no one's behind me and autopilot at this point disengages and I take over to accelerate and make sure we're not becoming a hazard to anyone coming up behind us. This just further illustrates so that any person that the car detects in the road is gonna trigger an immediate braking on behalf of the vehicle. At this point, we're approaching another traffic light, so I get the notification on the left side of my screen there. There is a car up ahead, so as the light turns green, everything looks good. It should follow the leading car through the intersection. And then bizarrely enough, the line changes from green back to red, even though the leading car is clearly in the intersection, the lights are green. So this was definitely a fail of this new feature. 
Once again, no one was close behind me, so all I had to do this time was press down on the driver's stalk, give it a little bit of acceleration, and the car then proceeded through the intersection. I included this clip because the car actually picks the wrong lane when it's going through this intersection. It starts to move into the left turn lane, realizes it made a mistake, and then does correct at the last second there. Again, no one was close behind me, so not a huge deal, but just wanted to show this because, again, the system is not perfect, and the car does occasionally make errors. So I wanted to end things on a positive note, and this last interaction is actually really good. So you see the warning for the traffic light as we approach it. There's a leading car and the light's green, so it's gonna proceed through the intersection. Then the light turns yellow. The car automatically recognizes that and begins to slow down and come to a complete stop, even though there's that leading car going through the intersection. So this really demonstrates that although the car is currently programmed to follow another car through the intersection if the light is green, it's also reading the light colors. And in this case, it noted that the light was yellow and appropriately slowed down for the red light. So this is where I'm actually gonna end today's video. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like button. And I'm also curious to hear your thoughts on autopilot and full self-driving. So let me know in the comments down below whether you're a Tesla owner or an admirer, how you think the car is performing and how full self-driving is progressing over the last several months. I'm interested to hear your opinion um, because again, this whole channel is basically just my opinion. So I, I look forward to engaging with you in the comments down below. Um, I think we've come a long way over the past several months, but let me know if you've had a different experience with your car and where you see things going. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you for watching and definitely consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. But with that said, I will see you in the next one.